Hey everyone, welcome back to the outpost. I'm going to change the oil on my tractor today. Um, it's not really recommended until about 400 hours, which I'm approaching 200. But just like my personal vehicle, uh, like they say at 5,000 miles, you can change your oil now with the uh, oil that we have today. But I still believe in changing mine every 3,500 because it just saves wear and tear on the engine. So my tractor, I feel the same way about it. Um, like I said, it's approaching 200. I'm going to go ahead and change the oil. Then when it gets 400, I will change it again. Um, I also believe in using the manufacturer's type oil. Now, I know that I could probably get uh, other brands, but I went to the Kubota dealer. I purchased the oil. Now, this particular uh, tractor uses 7.1 quarts, so I had to buy two of these. I have a little leftover, but also the oil filter. I'm going to change that. And of course you need an oil filter wrench and then basically a pair of gloves. So what we're going to do today is we're going to change the oil on the uh, Kubota 3901. And if you've never done that before, it's fairly simple. I thought I would walk you through that step. Take this off with a socket. Okay, I went ahead and put the plug in on the other side and now I'm across over here. We're going to take this plug out and we're going to drain it. There's not going to be a whole lot come out, but it does have two plugs just in case there's any on this side of the engine. Go ahead and take this one out and finish completely draining it. You got to watch out for that plug too because it can fall down on the inside. Okay, what I wanted to show you was is this oil is not that dirty. If you'll take a look here, you can see that that oil is still uh, kind of clear on my finger. And just to get all of the metal shavings out of the engine after 50 hours worth of use, I went ahead and changed the oil. And now at another 150, which is basically 200, I'm changing the oil again. What I was going to say was is not only does that help the life of the engine on the tractor, but also any used motor oil that you have, if you will save that, it's good for oiling the joints and different things on the tractor. If you've got farm equipment, um, oiling things up to where they always work free and they're not, um, you know, they don't get rusted up. And there's a multitude of uses for this used motor oil. And it's good to use on any kind of um, old equipment that you've got or anything to keep it all lubed up. So I always save this. I will pour this actually in a uh, two gallon bucket, or I'm sorry, a two gallon container. And then I will save that to put in my oil gun and, and use that to lubricate a lot of different things that I would have. Anyway, I've drained the oil on, on both sides of the plugs. I, I actually put those back in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set this aside and I am going to um, take the oil filter off. Okay, what I did was I put both plugs back in on the, on the other side as well as this one. And now we're going to take this oil filter off. And uh, I like this one the best because it's got these teeth that grab. But whatever oil filter uh, you, wrench that you've got, you're going to need that. Um, anyway, I had already pre-loosened this. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this off. I've got the bucket back down underneath just in case I've got any overspill. Okay. With any new oil filter, I'm sure that you all know this, um, when you actually take it out, you need to pre-grease the seal on it before you put it back on. So just wipe the ring of the other one and then we will pre-grease this seal right here just so that it lubes it up and makes it a little bit soft and because we want to get a good seal when we put it back on there. Actually, I got some dripping here too. Okay, I've got that seal. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the threads as well. And I'm going to screw this one back on there, the new one. 
making sure not to cross thread it. There we go. All right. Looks like we're in business. I'm going to hand tighten this and then I'm going to put just a little bit of turn on it. And then what we want to do is we want to start filling it up with new oil. Which, this is the oil plug. I'm going to wipe that off just a little bit. Okay, one thing that I do know is you cannot pour this oil too fast because it will overflow because if you look down in there you can see the gears that are so close it will overflow real easy and real quick. So go ahead and break the seal here. And like I said, we're basically putting in 7.1 quarts. Okay, what I did was is I went ahead and I got the first one in there and I poured the second one. If you notice on the back, these little marks right here, these are quarts. I'm just under one quart right here, so it needed seven, four, plus one, two, three, and just a hair bit under that. So I'm going to assume that that is 7.1 quarts of oil. And let me finish wiping this off just a little bit before I seat that back on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. We've got our oil in. We're going to replace our oil fill cap. Okay, we've got the oil replaced in the tractor now. I put the oil cap back on. I'm going to go ahead and replace my guard, which as a little slot these things slide in get those slots lined up first and then we can go back to where the screw goes in to hold it and your engine should last longer if you take better care of it so that's what I try to do Hey guys, we really hope that you enjoyed that video. Anyway, if you like this kind of content and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, hit the little notification bell down there because it will notify you whenever we put up a new video. Um, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. We're under the same name, Smoky Mountain Outpost. So, so. Yeah, stay tuned because we got a lot of things going. You never know what we're going to come up with. So anyway, we just wanted to say, everyone, uh, have a great afternoon. Uh, be safe, take care of yourselves, and we look forward to seeing you at the outpost in the future.